When you think of wellness or self-care, you probably think yoga and green juice, not cryotherapy chambers, infrared treatments, or workout machines designed to boost testosterone levels. But Bulletproof Labs in Santa Monica, California, bills itself as the world's first biohacking facility, and it wants to improve your mind and body's performance with its high-tech gadgets. Check out the virtual float tank, for example. Just put on the light goggles, headphones, and electrocranial stimulation device and lay down in the twirling pod. Bulletproof Lab CEO Martin Tobias says the sensory deprivation makes meditation more efficient. So you're using four signals, motion, light, sound, and electrocranial stimulation, all tuned to theta. So that's encouraging your brain to get there faster. So in a half an hour session in this machine, you'll be in theta for like 24, 25 minutes as opposed to three minutes. Mm -hmm. So in that same half hour meditation session, you're gonna get a much more productive, restorative meditation in a device like this. So the hack is we're using technology to be more efficient at something that people have been doing for thousands of years. Bulletproof Labs, which is being expanded as Upgrade Labs, is the brainchild of Dave Asprey, the Silicon Valley investor and creator of Bulletproof Coffee, the popular concoction that involves putting butter in your coffee. His lab's equipment is meant to push your body to achieve better results faster. But your muscles are, um, you know, could lift 100 pounds this way, but they're actually much stronger when you're putting something down. If I handed you 300 pounds, you might be able to put it down, but you couldn't pick it up because your muscles are stronger. So what you want to do to build muscles as fast as you can is to have a machine that can actually vary the resistance to be more on the negative part of the motion. So what you want it to be is like 100 pounds, 300 pounds. And this machine, since you're going against a computer, can do that. And it's tech, physics, is, it's impossible to do that with regular weights. So literally, you know, it's a 12 minute workout that replaces a week worth of weight training. And it works. With biohacking sessions ranging from $25 to upwards of $200, the company's clientele is generally more affluent. But Tobias wants to make these hacks accessible to more people. So would you say are executives a significant portion or, or sort of busy business people? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the kind of people that, that are our members here at Upgrade Labs fall into three categories. And one is the busy executive that wants to have hacks or more efficient ways to get things done, whether it's to meditate more productively in the half an hour that they have, or to exercise more productively, or to get uh, immune system function, or to get their nutrition with an IV, you know, in a concentrated manner instead of taking a multivitamin. They all would like to trade some money for time. A busy executive trade money for time. The second category of people are uh, people that have any kind of injury, or any uh, that are on recovery, people at post-surgery. People come here with like uh, ACL surgery and the doctor says you'll recover in nine weeks, we'll recover them in three weeks. Any kind of uh, recovery uh, program people are on, they'll recover faster with our technology. And then the third category of people are people with um, chronic autoimmune type diseases. Uh, Hashimoto's, hyperthyroiditis, these kinds of things. A lot of those diseases are not well treated by the existing medical community and we can provide symptomatic relief for a lot of those people. What Bulletproof has in common with what some call alternative medicine or supplementary medicine is that it is at least partly a reaction to the modern healthcare system which focuses heavily on reactive treatment. And then, you know, could you tell me a little bit more about sort of the broader wellness trends that you've seen? I mean, I think a lot of us have heard of cryotherapy, sure. not so much some of these other technologies right. that you're talking about. I mean, what kind of growth have you seen over the last, you know, five years even? Well, um, the broader uh, wellness trend, I mean, it, it's related a little bit to healthcare, and that is that a lot of people realize that our current healthcare system of acute care waiting for something to break and then trying to fix it is not the right way to stay healthy. It doesn't help you at all to stay healthy. So the, the trends that where people are waking up to that and looking for alternatives to stay healthy and stay out, because I talked to a friend of mine who's a venture capitalist in um, Silicon Valley who invests a lot in healthcare and he goes, the best investment I c you can do in healthcare is to not go into the healthcare system. To, to stay out of it. And that message in the last five years has really started to get out into the masses where people are like, oh, if I can stay, eat better and stay healthier and do things to stay out of the healthcare system, that's the right way to do it, not wait. But where it differs from, say, Gwyneth Paltrow endorsed Jade Eggs is its reliance on quantifiable results. But now that we have the ability to measure things, like for example, with cryotherapy, 
um, there have been people selling cryotherapy for a while, but you go into, and I did this, some other cryotherapy spas here in LA, and I go, why am I doing cryotherapy? And they said, well, like Jennifer Lopez does cryotherapy, so you should too. And that's the way a lot of wellness has been sold is as an experience. But what we do is measure your HSCRP, which is an inflammation indicator, and we put you through cryotherapy and we can prove that it goes down. We can measure your cortisol and put you through the meditation chamber and prove that your cortisol goes down so your stress hormones are improving. We can test your testosterone and put you on that machine and prove that your testosterone improves. So what we are part of is that whole desire, which I think is natural, to want quantification and provable wellness. And now we have some technologies to do that. It's unconventional methods may take some getting used to, but our own equipment testers seem to like it well enough. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like pumped, zinned out. It was definitely an experience, but uh, it was worth it. It's definitely worth it if you got the money, but yeah. For Investors Business Daily, I'm Elaine Lowe. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.